ago in our old gallery in Windmill Street, and it's lovely to see so many of you here. Um, and John, thank you so much for launching the book here. I've just been reading it, and it's fantastic. Um, so thank you for coming and reading to us. And I think we're going to take a few words away from the puppet shop. Oh yeah, just, just a couple that were in, not too long. Um, good evening, thank you so much for coming. Um, my name's Sarah Blake, and I work for John's publisher, Picadool. Um, and thank you for coming to celebrate the um, publication of John's third collection, Interior Light. Um, we at Picador feel really, really privileged to be publishing one of this country's finest contemporary poets. Um, Interior Night is a brilliant, dark, witty and unique collection from a hugely talented poet. Congratulations John, it's just amazing. Um, so without further ado, can we raise a glass to John? Oh. John! John. Oh. suits and millinery, disremembered rituals of the tribe. The portals of the mausoleum lean, as if having suffered break-ins by morbid archangels. Its columns evince a certain verticality, each finding itself unable to fall into that abstraction known as giving up a ghost. Breathes sadden in a damp mode. I smoke an ugly brown cigarillo. Its liverous grey wisps swirl the nose. We shall float up a grey twist of smoke. Are you with me, yourselves, at the rendezvous? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming tonight. It's great to see you. Uh, Few friendly faces, amidst the sea of hostility. <laughs> <laughs> the usual thing again. Okay. Um, this one's called On Dee, it's the uh, name of a ballet. On Dee. Tonight I want to listen to the rowdiest music. Strike up the timpani, O oh, timpanist. The oat. The, the oboe and the flute are an arranged marriage, but one that works. I've fallen for the second cello again. Can she see me listening to her bowie? Who am I today, fashioned from my memories of happiness? Why is the oddest word it brings into being the possibility of a reason which there may not be? But why so? I'm fraught with answers. I won't be that person they all make piteous remarks about when he leaves the party. All those posed junkies laden with their own views of themselves. Remember Lionel, who bought that minute gallery in some way? And Doreen, who can't hold down a man? I'm going to train to be a ballet dancer just for the noise the feet make over the stage. But the set is chaos. Stay away from colours, designer. How extensive is an inkling? I believe I have one now, as the prima ballerina plots her way through the piece. The curtain might part and I would come dancing out. Great acclaim in the reviews, great opprobrium in the newspapers. It might be possible for me to be fine if I could live the way I hear music when I'm not listening. Once, when it didn't matter, I knew joy. It passed soon enough. <laughs> it's, all, it's all true, it's all true. It's all verbatim true. Um, I haven't really thought what I'm going to read. Um, um, in a time of great moments. In a time of great moment. The minutes have quite a job to do. I lay back and assess the glowing red numerals on the radio alarm clock as they pause between instants. I've expected a lethal occurrence since early childhood. 
and have felt greatly let down by my good fortune. The least place of danger has scoffed in my face. Ain't he the lucky one? It would muse. When I think of Howard Hughes, I cannot escape the conclusion that he tried to vitiate his failure with the show of a blonde. Then the opposite, those entrepreneurs. <laughs> Oh, here we are. This is that topic. Good Lord. <clears throat> like a heat wave burning. It was the hottest summer on record. We flew into rages with the drop of a pin. The heat made cacti of us all. I woke up hot crazy at one in the morning. The day's sun had heated up the sky so heavy. It felt like being ironed. We sat on the curbside like hot bananas, and Jane read me the Miranda of our future lives together. There would be no future lives together. <laughs> I'd never heard the night jay squawk so damn the bridge shrilly in the still, still, still. My eyeballs made sinuous rills. I sloughed on my sandals and loped onto a streetcar named Expire. <laughs> Tires welded cars to the road. I got out my character and began the tasks of a lifetime. Pine trees collapsed in a dead swoon all over the place. Believe you me, honey, do you features? It was hot. <laughs> Not unlike this evening of ours here. See how seamlessly it all comes back? So gloomy. <laughs> oh, here's, here's one which is kind of gloomy. This is um, it's a fictional, imaginative piece about taking uh, mood altering drugs. Kind of what I imagine it might be like. It's called O. Oh. I hear no songbird's breath, see no scent of lily flowers. From two brass pipelets and one plastic bowl, shift blue-grey coils of smoke. In an upstairs spare room are faces congealed into faintly visible questions or epiphanies still born at the point of emergence. This bedsit miasma is merely the latest form to materialise from your opium trial. Before this you have crumbled the opulent black truffle to boil above the candle's slight flame half-baked lab work to extract a tacky mode of liquor. The mosquito stab of the hypodermic has pumped the little thrill of injection down your plump vein. You wish an arm of glass to see the relief slide in. Breathe, breathe and, lift, and feel it like an orgasm held perpetually at the instant of climax. Give it to me. Please. But when the goods might be, the fleet pseudo adrenal charge of blood chemistry excited to unnatural heat, there is no more than a kind of blunt vacancy. I feel nothing. They feel nothing. We feel nothing. We conjugate a blank consensus. This stuff doesn't work. We mumble soft complaints on the futility of doing this so called drug with its sorry rigmarole. We are children of the amphetamine generation. Nothing is happening, nothing. No rush, no burn, no ecstasy of transport. Why are we still in this room after how many hours has it been after? Decades later, it finally hits as the recollections surface and re-swell like tissue paper flowers in a water glass. That's the whole beautiful reason of it. Peace for the wicked. Now the sweet O never bubbles to a purple gunge on the spoon. These days you live with neither rush nor tranquility, just obscure head paint and proprietary coding. <laughs> Is it to do with poetry? <laughs> <laughs>